In this video, I want to show you how to use the webinar platform right within JVZoo. Now, this is going to help you make even more sales on autopilot when you see what we've set up. So to get started, once you've logged into JVZoo, you want to go up to the sellers tab and then go down to where it says webinars and click on that. Okay. And any webinars that you create will show up on this page right here. And if you want it, you can edit those. And also I'll show you how the chat option works here in a moment, but to get started, you want to go up here to where it says create a webinar, click on that. Okay. And then you'll see this page here. Now let me explain what each one of these options are, and then I'll show you what it looks like in a moment. So the first thing is the video URL. Okay. This must be an MP4 format. It can't be any other format. It must be an MP4 format and you can use the video from YouTube, from Vimeo, Amazon S3 or CloudFront. So I'm going to go ahead and put my video in for that. And then the registration title, the registration title is going to show in the tab of the web browser and also is the title of the webinar as well as show up in the emails that are going to be sent out for follow up for the webinars, which I'll talk about a little bit later. So I'll go ahead and paste that in and then the registration description which is going to be shown on the webinar registration page, which probably more so acts like a headline. Okay. And I'll show you that. Okay. So I have my description in here. We can adjust this to see what's in there or to see the full description that we paste in there. Okay. And then we go down to products and then you want to go ahead and select the products that you want to promote on the webinar. Now you can add more than one product, but I have to let you know that you first have to set the products up within JVZoo which if you don't know how to do that, we show you how to do that in the how to set up a product video that you can view very quickly and then come back to this one. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and select the product and then you have the product delay time. Now you might be wondering what this is for. Well, this is pretty much when the buy button is going to show up within the webinar. So let's say if you have your webinar and you make your pitch at 30 minutes, you want to go ahead and display the button at 30 minutes as well. And you can do this for any time that you want. Okay. So once you have it in there, just go ahead and click on add more. Now, if you have multiple products or let's say you have a payment plan and you want to show that later on in the webinar, you can do that as well. So you would just need to simply go ahead and choose your product, choose when to show it just like this. Okay. Now you go down to registration topics and registration topics is what's going to show on the registration page. Now you can add a number of these, but as time goes on and we develop more and more landing pages, depending on the landing page will determine how many topics you can put on here. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my registration topic title, just like this, then click on add more. Okay. Then we'll add another one like that. And then we'll just go ahead and add one more. Okay. And as you can see, all of these are adjustable as well. So you can see the full description of whatever you put in there. Okay. And now if we go down to the registration presenter, we want to go ahead and put in the registration presenter's name. Now you can put more than one person in here, but like I said before, depending on the style of the landing page, as we develop this more and more, we'll determine how much room you have to put in presenters information. Okay. And then to put in the presenters image URL, you'll need to have that hosted somewhere and then go ahead and click on add more to add that in. Now, if there's two people, you can go ahead and put that in or three or whatever you have. Okay. And finally, if you have any handouts, so let's say if you promise the people maybe a download at the end of a webinar or something like that, you want to go ahead and make sure that it's in PDF format. And then you want to put that in here. Now this is optional, but if you do want to use that, you can. Okay. So we'll go ahead and click on that box there and then click on save. Okay. And now we can see that our webinar has been saved. So let's take a look at the registration page. We're going to go ahead and copy this. Okay. So this is what our registration page looks like. And as you can see, here is the presenter's name, the registration description right there. And if a person comes in and clicks on this, they'll be able to put their name and email address in here. And here's something that's pretty cool. Depending on what country they're in, they can select this option, put in their phone number and receive an SMS reminder of the webinar. Okay. Now you also see that there's a countdown option, which promotes scarcity to get them to register. And those topics are right here. Okay. So what you'll learn on this free workshop 
and then all of those topics that I put in are right there, okay? So if a person clicks on this and goes and registers, this is what they're going to see. They'll be forwarded to this page where the webinar will start in, as you can see, a certain allotted time frame. Now, the cool thing is, is that the webinar will start when they watch a replay, they'll get this page all of the time as well, okay? Here's the webinar starting, just like this. And as you can see, you have the live chat option where they can ask their questions and all of those things as well, okay? So it starts the webinar and we're good to go. Now, if we go back over to the chat area, you'll see right here that every question that's asked will show up right here and you can turn around and you can send an email to those people that ask the question on your webinar to get their questions answered. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. But I wanna show you one last thing. I want to also talk about the automated email follow-ups that the platform is gonna send out on your behalf. So when an affiliate promotes it, each affiliate link has a five-day automatic email follow-up embedded in it, okay? So even if a person did not watch it, if they didn't follow through on it, there's gonna be a five-day email sequence sent out to them to help drive sales. Now, this does stop if the user purchases. So if they watch, say, on day two and they made a purchase, then they're not gonna receive the rest of the email sequence, okay? It also includes a direct link for purchase if a user watched long enough for the buy buttons to show. So that means that, like before where I showed you, if we set it to, say, 30 minutes and then the buy button shows and they stayed long enough on the webinar for that, then it's going to include a direct link because they watched up to the point where our offer was shown and the buy button showed up. Now, if they didn't see the offer, then the five day follow up commences with the replay. So they're going to get an email directing them to the replay and the title is included in the subject and the email. So whatever the title is that you set up for the webinar, that's going to be included in the subject and the email. The description is also in the email. So all those things you set up right within the webinar platform are going to be in the email and the replay link is in the email as well. Okay, these emails, they go out automatically and they help generate sales for you on autopilot. There's nothing else you have to do once a person registers and emails are sent out based upon the action of the attendee. So depending on what they do on the webinar will determine the email that's sent out. If they have watched it long enough to see the offer, they'll get an email with a direct link. If they didn't watch it, then they're going to get an email directing them to a replay. And if an affiliate promoted it, then the affiliate link is going to be embedded within that email so they can get credit as well. Okay, well, that's the JVZoo webinar platform. One final thing I want to add is that whenever you set a product up in the webinar platform, it should automatically override the landing page for that product within JVZoo. That's one thing you want to make sure you check before you start taking promotions and sales. And finally, everything else works the same. If you want to get affiliates for that webinar, you do the same process as you would before getting the affiliate details page and directing them to the affiliate link, which you can see how to do in another video. Okay, well that's it for this video. Take care.